Investment outreach marks the first time that the Myanmar's public and private sectors have come together in this way to explain their country's progress and to promote development. This is a time to take a calculated leap of faith and take decisive action. It's a significant country that uh, no multinational can afford to ignore. I think where we differ from most emerging markets is how we went about our reform. It's, it's really remarkable how much has changed, um, how much the government has done in a very short period of time, how communicative they are with the foreign business community, including the American business community. They're always available to us. As we can see, uh, Minister Yusuf Thane is spending a great deal of time with us this morning. Certainly, the, for U.S. companies, the question of lingering sanctions still looms out there. Now, as companies like Coca-Cola or GE, APR Energy, and others have demonstrated, you can successfully go in there. This is not a fault to dawn. I mean, there's just so much commitment that has gone in, in terms of the regulatory uh, uh, changes that, that has been put in, the legislative changes. Our policy nowadays is more open, more liberalized, and more transparent in the policy. We have already set up a one-stop service in our office. We are installing RDGS real-time gross settlement systems. All the transactions, payment and settlement between the banks are going to be done uh, through the central bank electronically. That's going to happen in 2015. They've licensed two telecommunications operators, and that's greatly improved day-to-day -day business operations in Myanmar already. We also launch the e-visa system for the international visitors to come over to Myanmar in a very smooth way. This is such a, uh, such a great uh, forum because uh, you've got a very credible lineup of uh, speakers uh, from the government as well as uh, from, uh, from businesses. To have government officials come here and give their very candid views on, on, on how they, they foresee things uh, to move along in the coming years, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a rare opportunity. It is very, very rich in natural resources and the human resources there are also extremely good. I think it probably has some of the highest intellectual capacity of, of any country in the region. 95% of the population is literate, which is the highest in the ASEAN. Myanmar is thinking of you know, investment in the manufacturing sector, uh, high-tech sector. That's why we welcome the American investors. There's a lot of things happening so in terms of reforms, and uh, the momentum is there. So uh, I think it's the right climate to at least come and take a look at what's happening in our country. So if you invest in Myanmar, not only for the profit, but for the sustainable development and sustainable democratic reform for Myanmar.